Hello and welcome to Invisible Gamer Plays. I'm Tristan. And I'm Dan. Last episode, Dan... Dan died real quick. <laughs> so I'm going again. I don't know how many episodes we can do this game for. It is, looks like the same thing. Oh, there's a different guy talking to us now, though. General Marcus Funk. Yeah, you, a debonair gamer with impeccable taste. It's, it's pretty, um... Oh! It's, well, it's a roguelike. Duh, so this is a totally different layout now. Yeah, we died. So yeah, because I wasn't seeing how that was roguelikes because we... Start over? Yeah, it's permadeath, but you start over and it's totally different levels. Okay, so... It's randomized. Yeah, duh. So... so it's, it's yeah, doors open when you shoot good. them, just like real life. Okay. So we're good. Alright, so I understand it's now. General Marcus Punk. Because I was like, if we're going to be playing the same levels over and over again, it'd be kind of... But uh, yeah, it looks like, I mean, this is a totally different layout. This next room, I assume, will be is different. Is it always randomized? Mm hmm. Every yeah, this is a totally different room. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a roguelike. So, I guess we can play. We could, we could technically play this for hours. for 80 episodes. I'm not going to do that. We uh, play hours, one new game every week. Days, years, minutes, de decades, seconds, even. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Start of a game for seconds and then turn it off. Got, gone and got yourself stuck down on a pill. Use tilt function when function. Use tilt function when you're done <gasps> oh, forcing around. It'll take you back to the entrance. Oh, so when you, this is like a tutorial. Use tilt. So I hold triangle to get out of the pit. And now I'm up here. I told you that was a good thing. I, I told you. It's still not I really told a good you. thing. I told you. I called it. You're the most nice piece of shit. Um You know how would I be classified as uh as exactly that? Excuse me? I don't know what you're saying. You fucking talking to me? What are you saying? You fuck around? What are you saying? I don't know what's that like. Um Neither do I. So this is a cool game. Yeah. Uh roguelikes are interesting because they really don't speak to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're not really back of the game because I'm like I get frustrated. I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm liking Would the, you consider the first Minecraft person shooter. Minecraft the roguelike? No. It's like uh, randomized though. No, but like when you die, like, the world is still the same. Oh. Uh, Games that have random levels don't right. mean that it's well, a roguelike. Well, I mean, there's, like, there's just like when you start a new server, the that's the official. version of Minecraft. Uh, like, the world never ends. Yeah, so it is procedurally generated, which a lot of roguelikes are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but it's still, I, it's still not a roguelike, because still the parts of the world that you have explored are still the same. True. But I mean, on, like, uh, PS3 for Minecraft, Minecraft for PS3, it it doesn't go on forever. No. Because there's only so and once much you, you can do. And once you put that world together, it's there. And yeah. You, that's your world. So exactly. It's not, yeah, it's not a roguelike. Ooh, it's like an arc reactor thing. You say so, you big old nerd. <laughs> nerd. Avengers 2 comes out soon. Oh yeah. I didn't even realize it's not even called Avengers 2. It's called Avengers Age of Ultron. There's no exactly. Yeah. I. I, I, just kinda... I, I mean, it's obviously you're gonna call it Avengers 2. But I didn't. It's just I, like a subtitle. Yeah, I saw the poster. I'm like, oh, it's not even called Avengers 2. You know, like Star Wars. It's not even anything like the Star Wars of, uh, you know, like the one Phantom Menace. It's mm -hmm. not even just like. Two Speaking of it? Star Wars, though, so, when that comes out, it's gonna be a. That's also this year. We have Avengers and Star Wars in the same. That movie. is freaking crazy in the same year. It's such like a, two huge movies. For it's nerd galore, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be going crazy. When, uh, I'm actually. I want to see Age of Ultron, and apparently they're gonna be showing a preview. Like another preview for Star Wars. When, oh, you mean a trailer? Uh, like at the Age of Ultron screening. So. Well, it's just attached to every Age of Ultron movie. Like, you, like if you see Age of Ultron, there's gonna be a trailer for Star Wars. Yeah. Like the, the screen. Dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Is that a black? Oh my god! Did you those? Good. Those are little. <laughs> little nipples. Little udders popping off little yeah. uh, hot milk. They're not little nipples, they're big nipples. Big mamas. How, 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 would, how big would you say your nipples are? Normal size, small, large. Depends on how you say normal size is. Well, that's what I mean. What, do you, what, do you, what would you say? You're, 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 you're saying, you're talking, you're, 
uh, large. 30 inches. Probably, uh, yeah. Uh, circumference. Yeah. yeah. Probably. <laughs> Is that even possible? I'm sure it's possible. Is there somebody out there possible. that has, has, like, mutated, has, like, huge nipple syndrome? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that would be terrible. What huge, I mean, what would be that huge big a deal? Huge nipple syndrome. That would be actually pretty cool because you'd be like, hey, check out the boobs that's around. Well, it's not like huge boob syndrome, it's just huge nipples. Right, your, your breasts, if you're a woman, or your breasts if you're a man. I mean, you can see yourself, that's true. Your, your body's still the same size or whatever, it's just your nipples are... Uh, are we kind of disgusting? <laughs> there are like tons of people that? out there that have like body mutations that look really weird and like, really rare and stuff. Like I think I've like, like seen this one thing of this boy in Africa. Uh, he has like uh, giant mutated hands. Oh wow. And it looked really weird. But it makes you feel really bad for Well, it's him. like the freak show mentality. Exactly. People, humans are so obsessed with, like, the, with things that they don't understand. Or, like, That's why we're so obsessed with, like, going to another planet. That's true. Because, like, it's uh, things are so much more interesting mm -hmm. when you don't know anything about it. That's true. Well, kind of like, you know, uh, like, things are so much more scary when you don't know what it is. Yeah, you're scared of the unknown. Speaking of scariness, we've been playing Outlast. Uh -huh. That's a good game, so you should go uh, watch that series. Play. Um, there's stuff happening in this game right now. Robot guns. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can without that. Guns, robot, robot guns. I don't know if you've ever seen a real gun in your life, have you? I've shot a real gun. I've never shot a real gun. <laughs> I have. I've shot a real... I've shot a real, like, assault rifle. Load. A load? A, a laundry. Out of a... You shot a real load of... Out of a... 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 T-shirt cannon. Yeah. I've never done that. Good for you. I don't know why. <sighs> Fucking... You shot a real load of laundry... Out of that. But have you shot a real load of poop in your butt? <laughs> Pretty sure everybody has. You know what would be crazy? What if somebody invented like a poop watcher? Or like some kind of like... You know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I'm tired right now. Just... <laughs> this is too much. 